Hi, this is Elizabeth Knox with ForwardWomen.org. Forward is getting ready to kick off their spring mentorship program. It's If you're looking to learn from a woman who's a little bit more experienced and a little bit more seasoned um, about all things faith, work, and life, and relationships, um, it's a really great opportunity for that. The deadline to apply is March 13th, which is two days from, from today. Um, or if you have the space in your life right now to pour into a woman who, who needs some coaching and needs some mentoring, we also have a need for mentors, so there's an application for that as well. In this week's Wednesday interview, Forward asked me what you can do to keep a mentor relationship low stress or stress-free, and my answer was clear expectations. I think it's really important that the, the mentee can articulate what it is that they're hoping to gain out of the relationship what it is that they want to learn and and where they want to grow and then also for the mentor to to you know to know how they hope to do that um, also who's going to be responsible for what who's going to schedule the meetings um, who's going to set the agenda is there going to be any homework that needs to be done and then lastly keep it time limited I think that you know there are times when you can just learn from someone over a cup of coffee and it doesn't have to be you can be mentored just in the course of an hour or so um, maybe you meet with someone once a month for six months while you transition jobs, or maybe um, the 12-week mentoring program through Forward. The other question that they asked me was about what I'm learning as I juggle um, being a working mom. And I'm pretty new to this. I have a two-year-old and a 10-month-old. And so what my husband and I are trying to do is prioritize, optimize, or prioritize, minimize, and outsource. Uh, I knew there was an O in there. Um, we have just... We've looked at all of the things that we feel like we could pay attention to from, from obviously our families, our jobs, our friends, um, things in the world that are going on that, are, that really kind of draw our hearts to them, um, obviously commitments at church. So we've kind of made a list of all the things that, that draw our attention, and then we've prioritized that list, and we've figured out what are the most important things to us, what are the things that only we can do. And then there's kind of a line on that list right now of, of things that are below the top priorities, and that's where we minimize. And instead of being frustrated that we can't get to everything, we're intentionally saying no to things right now. I'm not playing an intramural sport, which is something that I really enjoy. I'm not leading a small group. I'm not reading long books. Um, and those are things that just right now I've said are not on the priority list. And I hope that they'll come back around, and I'm, I trust that they will. But just right now, we've minimized those out of our lives. And then the last thing is outsource. We um, There are things that other people do better than us or faster than us or just it's something that we've decided we don't want to prioritize. Um, and so we find other people who can help us do it, whether it's friends or family or whether we hire someone to help us with something. Um, so that's what we're doing. But like I said, I'm brand new to this, and I'm looking forward to tips from other women who have gone before. So again, a reminder that Friday, March 13th, is the deadline for submitting applications for the Spring 2015 Forward Mentorship Program. Take care.